The Thatcher Eagles look to continue their dominance of the 3A South on Wednesday as they hosted the Tanka Verde Hawks, who were right on their tail in the standings. So bust out the popcorn and gather around the iPad, because here come the highlights. If you're seeking a positive change in your life, freeing you from past negative traumas, visit clinical hypnotherapist Rebecca Clough at Beyond Therapy in Safford. Beyond Therapy is proud to sponsor local youth athletics. Tankaverde jumped out front after Caden Watkins fronted Thatcher's Bradley Curtis and got the steal. Watkins then took it the length of the court and dropped a dime to Chris Herndon, who put it in for the game's first bucket. But the Eagles have a Bradley Curtis, who scored Thatcher's first 10 points of the night and was at the rim all night long, putting back rebounds and attacking the glass. The Hawks had no answer for Curtis down low in the first period, as he was a man among boys in the post, giving Thatcher an early 10-2 lead. But the feisty Hawks came back with the second coming of Brian Scalabrini in the form of Rich Knott, and he scored a sweet move for two. Then Knott's on the receiving end off the loose ball, and suddenly the Hawks are right back in it. But Bryce Larson was as cool as a cucumber and drilled a three. Napier then crashed the glass off a of steal, and a short time later, Larson picks up the loose ball, and he takes it the distance for the nice lay-in to help put Thatcher up 21-16 after one period of play. Whether you need regular pest control or have bigger problems, including termites or bed bugs, rattlesnake exterminating is your one call to handle them all. Killer bees threatening your family? Then give rattlesnake exterminating a call at 485-8904. In the second, take a very switch to his zone defense to try to slow down Curtis, who finds Cody Jones with the reverse for two. You can only keep Christian Carter silent for so long, and working off the screen from Curtis, Carter drops back behind the three-point line and splashes one home. Carter liked it so nice he decided to do it twice, and nails another deep ball off the screen by Curtis. And folks, let's just pause it here for a second, and if your own teammate is the closest defender, then you've got an open shot right there, bub. And for Carter, it's like shooting ducks in a barrel, or for you Star Wars nerds, it's like Luke bullseye and Womp Rats behind Tashi Station or whatever. Meanwhile, Bradley kept scoring at the rim, and the Eagles had their largest lead of the night at 15 points with about 4 minutes to play in the half. Then the wheels fell off. First, Spencer Larson drilled a three from the top of the key, and he was just getting started. Larson peeled off a screen to hit a mid-range jumper, and then he went from the corner and drilled a three to bring the Hawks within three. Then Herndon and Watkins worked the inside-outside game, and Herndon takes the open shot to put a capper on 15 unanswered points to tie the game up at 35-35 at the half. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. Brandon Napier ended the Eagles scoring drought right out of the gate of the third and Thatcher was back on top. Then Bryce Larson got back into it with the long ball to extend the lead, but not said, hey, this ain't over yet and dropped the big bucket. Tight game, 42-41, can't get the ball down low to you, so Curtis takes it up high, and he says, see ya, Scalabrini, and drives to the bucket. But the Hawks come right back with a long ball from Watkins, and we're all tied up again. After a Cody Jones bucket, Thatcher held, and Bradley hit down low on two consecutive shots to push the lead back to six and force a timeout. Coming out of the break, Spencer Larson hit the three on a catch and shoot to cut Thatcher's lead in half. But there's just no stopping Bradley in the lane on this night as he goes for a game-high 40 points. And when he sat due to foul trouble, the Eagles defense stepped up as Cody Jones gets the steal and he takes it all the way for the score and Thatcher took a 9-point lead into the fourth period up 56-47. to Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. I tell you what though, these Hawks never stop pushing back and I haven't said Trevin Harrison's name yet, so here you go in the highlights nailing some shots. Both he, Not, and Spencer Larson are all super sophomores. But the smaller Hawks just couldn't contain Bradley as he goes at one, two, three, four defenders and still puts it in. 
Then the Hawks don't immediately double team him, and that's bad news for Eli Clausen, who has to try and stop this from happening. Yeah, that's how I figured it would end. Bradley with the and one play. And later he works the give and go with Brandon Napier, who finds Bradley for the hoop. Finally, the nail in the coffin as Christian Carter chases down the long rebound and gets it to a sprinting Bradley who throws it down with authority to lift the Thatcher Eagles to an 82-69 win over the visiting Tank of Verde Hawks. Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. Feels great. Like our main goal is state, so that's that's what we want to do. So the crowd went crazy when you finally got that dunk. How, how did that come about? How did that feel getting up there and slamming that one? Oh, it feels super good. I I've only dunked a few times this season, so I love it. It's, I love the dunk. It's fun. Anything else you want to say about tonight's victory, Bradley? No, nope, that's it. <laughs> about moving forward, you looking forward to anybody uh, down the line that you guys want to look forward to play against? Um. Team on Coolidge. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't want it to be like that, but man, uh, good experience. That team's tough. They're young. We knew it. Uh, watched lots of film on them, and, and they get on the gas, and they don't get off the throttle, both offense and defense. We talked about their defensive pressure and not so much their offensive pressure, but they, they, it's just pressure. It's on the gas, 100 miles an hour. Credit to them um, for the way they work. That, that coach, uh, met him before the game. Seems like a really good guy. Much respect to him and his program. He's building very young. Even their JV, both JV squads look very good. So they got a lot of young talent. They're going to be tough. This region win puts you guys in the driver's seat in the 3A South. How does that feel to be up on top? Well, we, we like that feeling, but we don't want to celebrate anything too soon. Uh, but yes, uh, it, it's, uh, it feels good to have maybe a little breathing room, if you want to call it that, but, uh, but we like it. We knew this was an important win, uh, being a region game and uh, seeing how good they've been playing. So it was, it was us, them, and uh, Sabino. So it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it was fun. And you beat Sabino twice. It's swept there. <laughs> yeah, that felt good, too. That felt good, too. Anything else you want to say about tonight's game, Coach? Just, that's just fun one to be a part of. Fun one to be a part of. Reporting from Thatcher for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.